Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be a quick video on my Maxpedition Mini Pocket Organizer. If you guys saw my last um, unboxing video of the blades that I got, this was actually something that I got in, in that package. And basically I wanted to pick this up just to, to see the size difference between the EDC Pocket Organizer and the Mini. Now they just came out with a micro uh, pocket organizer as well, but I it, it was lacking one specific thing that I do like on a lot of my Maxpedition stuff And that's the uh, velcro loop field. So that's why I decided to pick this one up now I did have a question regarding you know what if you're gonna add this to your EDC What more would you be able to carry in there than you wouldn't already be carrying on your person? Now as you know a lot of us do you know we we want to you know we, we go by the rule of two is one one is none So you want to carry backups to your backups to your backups and sometimes now now this isn't something that I'm going to carry all the time on a daily basis. Uh, this is just something that I'm probably going to either keep inside of a bigger bag, you know, when I need it, or you know, I'm going to carry it in my glove compartment, and it's got some some tools and things that I would use, um, you know, that maybe I'm not carrying that day or something like that. So you know, it's it's definitely not set up for my personal usage that it's going to be on a daily basis use. But it could be. So um, let me just show you what I have in there. Obviously, as you guys can see in the front, in the Velcro loop field, I, I actually have this patch there. I don't have anything in the uh, in the outside pocket right here. And the reason for it is because I want to make sure and leave it open in case I do need to add anything else to it. I think that you should always have extra space just in case. You know, um, the, the worst thing you could do is pack either this or a backpack or, a, you know, an organizer, you know, or anything like that full so much that if you were to add anything else or pick up anything else as you go you wouldn't have enough room for it so that's why you know i'm a firm believer in that uh, obviously nothing in the back you know i, I like it it's uh, you'll see what all i have in here but with all the gear that i have in there it actually uh you know it it kind of uh it still you know maintains its slim profile this is um it with everything that's in there is it's wide enough that it will fit comfortably in a, the back pocket of my jeans it'll definitely fit very well in a pair in a you know a cargo pocket in a pair of cargo jeans or i'm sorry cargo pants or cargo shorts or something like that and uh you know actually you know what cargo jeans i don't think i've ever seen a pair of cargo jeans have you guys? I'm oh, sorry. Um, you know, I just thought about that. I don't think I've ever seen cargo jeans, so let me know if you guys have. Uh, but, you know, obviously cargo pants, you know, cargo shorts, this will fit very, very nicely. But, you know, like I said, in, in my back pocket to my jeans, it fits nice. And, I mean, it's a little bulky, but, you know, at least it fits in there. So let me go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you what I'm carrying currently in there. Um, I'm not going to go over, you know, all the specs and everything because, you know, there are some videos already out there on that. But for the most part, I've got a couple of tools and, you know, certain things that I can envision using, uh, you know, on a daily basis that I would need, you know, for backups and things like that. So I'll go from left to right. Um, over here, this is a mechanics um, screwdriver. This is from County Com, and it's basically uh, two size, a small and a large size of a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver. So that always comes in handy. It's really cool. Uh, next to that, this is the uh, the Kershaw knife tool, and this has a uh, three uh, or two T T blade or Torx bits. You know, for your knives and things like that, and then it's got another uh, Phillips uh, bit on there too. So you know, that's really cool. They actually sit in there. Uh, and you just bring it out and use it, you know, attach this right here. It's got some knurling and you just, you know, use it whenever you need it. Um, attached to the actual key ring and loop through the back um, elastic there, I have uh, on, an, on an s beaner. I have two things. These are both from Countycom as well. And this is the uh, Pico uh, pry bar, the widget bar. And, you know, obviously this would be if you ever need to pry something open or stuff like that before you reach for your knife or something like that, it's always good to have that. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's small enough to, you know, I can use it for whatever I need. And then I have the, uh, the peanut lighter here, um, you know, really cool in, in case I needed uh, to light something. <laughs> Obviously, that's what a, a lighter is for, you know, create fire or if I'm doing some sort of a paracord bracelet or something like that, you know, I have that to uh, burn the ends there. Uh, I have two pens. Uh, I've got a zebra pen right here and a Sharpie pen there. And then I've got a, a regular Sharpie. This is actually an industrial Sharpie. So this is super permanent ink. So that's really good for marking things and stuff like that. Uh, there's nothing else in the pocket in the back uh, just because I didn't want to make it any bulkier. But again, 
you know, it goes through with my philosophy. If I do need to add something, I have that space for it. Nothing in the middle. I know a lot of people are getting into putting, you know, small things in the middle and stuff like that, which is really cool, but I don't have anything in there now. Um, right here, I've got the uh, Streamlight Stylus Pro. Because I am EDCing the new C4 model, I figured, you know, this would be a great place for uh, the older model. So I have that. It's a great light, very reliable, so that's good. Um, in this little pocket back here, I've got the Gerber uh, clutch, and this is uh, just a small um, spring-loaded uh, multi-tool. You know, it's got a couple little blades and screwdrivers and things like that on there, so you guys all know what the clutch has in it, so that's good to, to carry. And then I've got my um, OD2 here, Kershaw. So, uh, you know, just a small little backup blade in case I need it. It's super sharp. Um, I'm not going to use it for anything else because I want it to keep, you know, as sharp as it is. So that's uh, that's good there. And then right in the pocket back here, I have two things. The first thing is a small notebook. And this is just very thin. I think it has like 20 different pages on it. Um, and that's all that's all you need. I mean, I find that I, I use these and I never end up using all of them. You know, I don't really write that much. I have uh, on my iPhone, I have the apps or the, the notes app. So I end up, you know, kind of writing all my notes there. But, you know, in case I needed it for fire or anything like that, I have that available. And then just a very thin, very, very basic um, first aid kit. You know, just got some uh, adhesive bandage, some bandages, um, some alcohol wipes. And then it's got this uh, plastic toothpick there. And, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, in case I, I get a cut or something like that, you know, I have that available to me. So, like I said, this is obviously a very basic, very rudimentary kit to carry, like I said, in a, in a you know, a glove compartment or, you know, if I were to carry a bigger EDC bag, I can always drop this in, in one of the pockets. And if I didn't want to carry the whole bag, I can just pull this out, drop it in my pocket and I'm good to go. You know, maybe... Um, I'm going to the movies and I don't want to carry a backpack in there. You know, I can always grab this, just hold it in my hand. And when I get in the movies, just put it in the, in the cup compartment or whatever, in the, you know, the cup holder thing. And I'm good to go. I have all the tools if I, if I were to need something, you know, something were to happen and I need that. So, um, this is what I would be using it for. Like I said, it's not an everyday thing, but it's, uh, it's always at, at an arm's length reach. So if I do need it, I can always get it and uh, I'm good to go. Let me know if you guys have any questions and if you guys have any similar videos, you know, regarding your EDC kits, something similar to this, whether it's a Maxpedition one or a Condor one or, you know, Blackhawk one, I, I don't know who else would make these, um, you know, go ahead and link them to, to the, you know, to this video. I'd love to see what, uh, how you guys are utilizing these. All right. Thanks for watching.